it's Memorial Day weekend. I've got the camp set up. We're going to be doing a number of things today. Primarily, we're probably going to be doing some basic bushcrafting stuff. I need some tables. I've been meaning to make some tables for a while. So I'm going to mill up some wood here and hopefully build some half-baked tables that I can use for putting stuff on. In a couple hours, I've been cutting a lot of brush and I've built one craptastic table. I have my one table, I have my second table, and then I have my secret dating weapon. Put that by the side of the road, see who bites. Boy, I hope they don't bite. That would be weird. Yep, I'm losing it. Keep making tables, but my drill is too weak for making big tables. And the drill bit that I had snapped, which is unpleasant. I hadn't noticed this. I hadn't noticed the shoddy homebrew extension they tried to weld on here, and it looks like there's another one right there. But this was doing a pretty good job augering until that broke. We are going to try and probably fail to do a little bit of blacksmithing here. I've got my broken drill bit heating up in the fire. I've got a length of pipe that I'm also going to try and heat up. My thought is I can shrink that drill bit head just a little bit and maybe wedge it in that pipe. Same with the remote end. So we got a lot of hot stuff going on. Uh, I've got my little bench set up here. I have my heavy steel plate from the dump. I have my little bench vise, I've got my basic tools. This is probably going to end in disaster, but I've also got my charging station set up. What could go wrong? Having a bucket of water right over your battery next to your phone. Quick update, started making dinner. Blacksmithing is going terribly because, well, I'm trying to hammer a galvanized pipe into what I presume is old school steel or wrought iron. Just trying to get the end hot enough that I can reshape it to accept that guy and then maybe I'll try my welder tomorrow and just try to tack it a couple times. If I can get a couple tacks into it, we should be okay. But uh, my dump cooking rack is working out nice. It spans the campfire. I can put it right on the edge of the coals. Get a little baked potato going. We are multitasking with a campfire in style. What you doing there, ladies? You having dinner? You gonna come say hello? Where you going, ladies? Oh, there we go. Where you going, ladies? Hey there. Hi. What's up? on this big dumb idiot we're gonna try a little car battery welding so we've got our two batteries rigged in series for 24 volts we've got some welding leads four gauge wire have our ground clamp have a couple of grips and some metal brushes we've got our anode lead I do not have that hooked up yet for safety sake we also have some protection, an auto darkening welder's mask, and what we're going to try and fix today is this drill, which used to only be this long, and it broke. So I had this piece of pipe from the dump, I tried to hammer this end in, which went pretty well, however, uh, this end didn't take, and I'm going to try and wire brush all that down get it cleaned up and just do some tacks try to get a little bit of a weld going there I also 
uh, managed to pop this weld, so I might try to brush that up, get the vice grips on it, and then try to button that up. You can also see there's a hand weld at the end there. That's where the original failure was, uh, which I'm going to try and undo so I can at least keep using this drill. There's another hand weld down here at the bottom, which is not looking great. If I'm feeling confident, maybe I can grind some down and add some material there. Honestly, I don't care how ugly the shaft looks as long as it's solid and will let me continue to drill because this is actually really nice for making these three-legged tables. So that's what we're going to do next. Quick birthday update. If you're wondering why I'm standing in a shed, um, A, it's because it's standing room only, but I'm also standing in a shed while drinking. And it was, as of a few minutes ago, pouring rain out there. I believe it's still raining slightly. Find someone to hold my beer here. handle on the inside of the shed. Oh, look at that. It's not a downpour anymore. Isn't that wonderful? Just flipping wonderful. And it's foggy to boot. Now, I had been trying to build a little tented area there because I wisely took down my rain shelter today. Yeah, I'm, I've been calling it wrong all day. So what today. have we learned? We've learned we get a lot more light in the evening. A lot more light. We've learned how to make our own tables. We've also moved the firebox to somewhere out of the way for construction, demolition, all that fun jazz. We've learned that that is not a great spot to camp. It tends to get wet when it rains. We've learned that you can be off the grid less than 20 yards away from the grid. Mainly when you don't pay to have the meter hooked up. We've learned you can cut down trees at your own peril. We've learned that the deer will feast on anything you cut down. We turned a tree into firewood. piled up a lot of lumber that we may never be able to use because we don't have milling equipment outside of my chainsaw mill and that's imprecise at best. Didn't build our saw dog. We made something to keep the deer entertained right next to the stand. And we did spend a good chunk of today that wasn't exactly a Friday fun day. We spent a good chunk of the day digging up the top of the old septic holding tank. And let me tell you, this was no fun. This was a couple solid hours of work digging off this tank. This tank will serve as the platform for a bridge to the first floor walkout. Second floor? I don't know. A floor walkout. We'll have an upper driveway, lower driveway. It will be phenomenal. 
in this tank, I think I might cut that half off the lid, turn this into a pond. It's perfect size for a large pond. Maybe I'll put some wild carp in there. Nobody cares about wild carp here. Maybe I'll raise some burbot. There we go. Raise me some eel pout. Compete with the island's mortician. Fish mortician. So this concludes, largely, largely concludes the Luland adventure. I have one more fire to make, one more dinner to eat, and then I'm heading for home. And I did get in a little bit of fishing off camera and I caught one fish which made it kind of worth it beat the skunk. Until next time. Wow, I'm almost standing the same height as my platform there. Actually, I'm going to go get a view of that. Oh, burn some SD card footage here. Oh, I also took some of this fill that was sitting on the tank and wheeled it down to my driveway and filled in a couple low muddy spots. You're welcome world. I do own part of that road, so. I'm doing the world a favor. I wonder if the deer will come by tonight. They might. They were here this morning. They are here yesterday. Up we go. Golly, all right, I won't stand on it, but I would say my current standing height is almost the same as the top of the axis hatch on the septic tank. So, you can see the devastation I've wrought. Devastation that I've wrought. Alright, well, I'll cut the film here. And you'll never know if I got down from this tower successfully.